question. The member from Simcoe Gray. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is for the uh, Premier. Premier, on uh, March 3rd, in a reference to uh, funding for the uh, cystic fibrosis drug uh, Coladico uh, for 12-year-old Maddie Vanstool, you told this legislature, and I quote, we're going to push to expedite the process and that you will, quote, keep her and her family in the loop. In fact, when you and your health minister met with Maddie and her mom that morning, you uh, promised that you would provide them with biweekly updates to advise them as to what was happening concerning the negotiations with the company Vertex uh, and the uh, Pan-Canadian Pricing Alliance. Um, it's been over two and a half weeks now, Premier, and Maddie and her mom have heard absolutely nothing from you or your government. In fact, they haven't even got a response to the many emails that they've sent to you. Since you won't respond to Question. her on your own, like you promised, let me ask you publicly, what have you done to, quote, expedite the process? Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And, uh, uh, the Minister of Health will uh, answer this to the specifics on the uh, supplementary. But I want the member opposite to know that as recently as yesterday, I asked my staff in my, more, my uh, um, daily uh, senior staff meeting, I asked yesterday whether uh, the Vanstone family had been kept in the loop and wanted to make sure that that communication was happening. So um, if it's not happening, then it will. But I just want the member opposite to know that I asked that question, and I am going to make sure that uh, they get the information that they need. Thank you. Supplementary. Well, I can assure you that uh, Beth Van Stone, uh, Maddie's mother, tells us that that communication is not happening, uh, Premier. Premier, 15 countries, including England, Scotland, Ireland, Wales, France, Germany, Italy, the Netherlands, Austria, Denmark, Sweden, Norway, and the United States, and even Greece, which has a 28 per cent unemployment rate, have all found the necessary resources to cover the cost of Kaleidico. <laughs> and they have agreements in place with Vertex Pharmaceuticals, the company that makes the drug. So I ask you again, how long is your government willing to let Maddie Vanstone and other children with cystic fibrosis suffer before you actually do something? How many more bake sales, dog walks, lemonade stands do the children of Beaton and Bradford have to do in order to keep their friend alive? Do we tell these children to continue, or can we finally say to them that your government values Maddie's life and will help to save it? Thank you. Premier. Minister of Health and Long Term Care. Minister of Health and Long Term Care. Well, thank you, Speaker. And I'm pleased to tell the member opposite that uh, a member of my staff actually has already spoken with, uh, with Maddie's mom earlier today. So we are committed to having that ongoing communication. Speaker, I was interested to, uh, to read an article written by Andre Picard in the Globe and Mail recently. And he, and he talked uh, with some thoughtfulness about the process of negotiating prices with drug companies. I, I have to say we are continuing that work. I've spoken to the Minister of Health in Alberta. Uh, we are uh, asking Vertex, the, the manufacturer based in the United States, to actually engage in negotiation with us. They have rejected proposals that are fair proposals. Speaker, we will continue to fight. But we, if the member opposite is suggesting that we pay whatever price those pharmaceutical companies ask us to pay, I have to say I completely disagree with him, and indeed he disagrees with himself because when he was health minister, he was in the very position that I am in now. Sir, thank you. Your question, the member from Parkdale High Park. 